Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Home House Histories uh, Stories. Today, we're having a look at the Etruscan room. Now, this is perhaps the most decorated, most uh, ornate room in the whole of Home House, but more of that later. The Etruscan room, um, you'll find as a term given to many rooms in many grand 18th century houses. There's a shared interest in the classical world, a world of uh, ornate imagery, gods, goddesses, the ideal world, the idyll of the countryside as we discovered in the great drawing room. And here we see the Etruscan room, which is, the, I think, the most delightful room in terms of its visual structure and it's also its repetitive pattern, its balance, and its um, symmetry. The colors of the Etruscan are terracotta, black, and ivory. The shapes are those of ancient urns, gods, goddesses again, animal figures, animal heads, discs, and so on. Typical 18th century flourishes, floral, and so on. And if you take a bit of time to have a look at some of the amphora or the uh, earthenware um, vessels, the wine vessels that uh, especially places like the British Museum have uh, to enjoy, you'll see these colors repeated again and again. It's a winning combination, those three colors, a perfect balance. And the Etruscan room, the name comes from ancient Etruria a kingdom in Italy, uh, which was around uh, about 600 years BC, and very, very advanced. The language was elegant and very uh, advanced for its time in terms of its culture, its artifacts, the brilliance of technology. And um, our Etruscan room seeks to show the artisan quality of craftsmanship and making and so on. Now, one thing to clear up about the Etruscan room is that it's not just a room as such. It is the, or was rather, the Countess of Hume's home, uh, her bedroom, her imperial state bedroom. So the Etruscan room, there it is in all its glory. But then I must say, remember, this is grade one listed, this part of the building. The other houses are grade two. Grade one meaning that as much as possible, it must stay as a pair of 18th century eyes would have seen, as much as possible. Not everything can be. For example, some of the door decorations in brass, the time they have had to be replaced. You'll see the paneling, the lion's masks, the goddesses and so on, all on the doors that are familiar to us throughout number 20. These had to be replaced in the Tuscan room is no different. You look at uh, the lower part of the walls of the Etruscan room, you see a lot of little discs. And in these discs are painted. If you look closely, you'll see that some of the faces are more than definitely human. And those that are human are actually those men and women who were at the very start of Home House when it became and um, you go around and you see familiar faces like Richard Farley, Brian Clevers, many others. And actually there are one or two which have been blacked out. You can only imagine what they did to be so blacked out. They must have had a fantastically naughty life. So if you go to the end of this room, you'll see what looks at first like a paneling. It is in fact a door. Open the door. And yes, you'll find a secret staircase. And it goes right up to a room which is now used as one of our bedrooms, our uh, suites. And there apparently she would entertain her young bucks and bows and dandies. Um, maybe they were playing cribbage or very innocent. I can't imagine anything more than that. Well, I hope you enjoyed our little look today at the Etruscan room and hope you'll join us next week for another little look at another element of the house. Take care.